uh, the main novelty for the portfolio of this commissioner, but I would say for the whole college, new college, is really the, the strong focus uh, on ensuring uh, that Europe can assert its uh, interest and lead the world. This is clearly stated in von der Leyen's uh, speech yesterday when she presented the college, and it really is reflected, I think, in all the mission letters of the uh, candidate commissioners. And when it comes to the Commissioner for International Partnerships, this indeed is uh, reiterated, uh, this strong focus on EU uh, interests, EU core priorities, which revolve around uh, prosperity, uh, security and resilience uh, and this really is the starting point for, for the mandate. So in that sense there's really a shift from the more traditional mission letter that could would also be found in the previous uh, letter that was uh, on mandate that was uh, attributed to Commissioner Urpilainen is this really strong focus on promoting EU interests, economic and security interests. And I think one novelty which is mentioned is that all this should be part of a broad uh, European economic foreign policy. I think this is really also quite striking that the, the mandate of international partnerships is uh, fully part of this broader uh, EU economic foreign policy that the Commission, that the President wants to, to, um, to push forward. What that means uh, in concrete terms is really that the Commissioner uh, has the mandate to uh, advance European economic interests, uh, notably through trade, through investments, uh, and in that sense will be using the global gateway, even taking it at a next level. And this is really also quite striking in this uh, letter compared to the other one is a strong focus on the global gateway, which obviously didn't exist at the time in 2019, but this is really the, the starting point in that, uh, in that mandate letter is the use and really taking the global gateway to a next level. Uh, so by accelerating investments, refining the offer, uh, making sure that it responds in an integrated manner to the needs uh, of partner countries, but I think also making sure that it responds to the interests of, of the EU in terms of access to raw materials and increasing broadly the EU's competitiveness around the world.